Hello, everybody. So, how are you? Do you see my screen? So, I hope you see. Okay. <clears throat> so, today, today we will talk about unicorn. Uh, my name is Raman. Uh, I'm a Sitecore certified with seven plus years experience in the Sitecore and over 10 plus years in the .NET development. I work in SM solutions. And here is our plan. And we will talk about how to get started with Unicorn, look at build and deployment workflow, uh, some specific features that Unicorn has, we will also do a quick overview of existing alternatives to Unicorn and summarize the ways uh, we can serialize content in a sidecore. Uh, well, so Unicorn is a utility for sidecore that solves the issue of moving templates, renderings, and other database items between sidecore instances. So, in other words, uh, this is a way of automatic serializing sidecore content into files so that developers can store them as a part of the source code. Uh, what do we need to set up a unicorn? Uh, in short, these are three things. Uh, first, we need sidecore uh, and we need sidecore content to sync. Uh, then we need a folder under the source control so we can store the serialized items as a files. And finally, we need a unicorn, uh, the unicorn who will do the job. Um, I guess you will already will have sidecore instance and we need to set up on the last two things, folder and unicorn. Um, so let's do this. Uh, unicorn installation is very simple. If you are following uh, the Helix architecture, then you need to add project for serialization uh, under the foundation layer and then install unicorn packages as on the screenshots. So you just select unicorn package. Uh, if you need to serialize roles or users, you select roles, users, packages also <clears throat> and install these packages. Uh, by the way, uh, the demo project on this, uh, which the demo project on the screenshots in this presentation uh, will be available on a GitHub under my account and all its source code will be available there. So link <coughs> link at the end of this presentation uh, in the references. Uh, um, <clears throat> once you are ready with the new project, foundation dot serialization, uh, and <clears throat> packages, unicorn packages. The next important thing uh, is setting base configuration and define the folder on disk to store the serialized files. Uh, in my case, the folder is defined in demo base config, demo unicorn base config. This config file is used as a basic and uh, inherited by others. If you have different folders, different folders for different environments. Um, you can use config transformations, for example, to define appropriate paths uh, for them, uh, for environments. Um, <clears throat> as seen on a screenshot, uh, Unicorn allows you to define multiple configurations, uh, which allow you a lot of flexibility. You can serialize items to different places on disk. You can set up groups. Uh, you can override really uh, any aspect of Unicorn in each configurations. You can also define dependencies between uh, configuration files. You can see this. Uh, no, you cannot see this. You cannot see only patch after. Uh, but you can do dependencies between configuration files. Um, in my example, there is four configuration files. Uh, this is a base configuration. 
this one, which was on the previous slide, and uh, three more inherited from it. Um, this is approach when you define separate config for each database. So probably might be useful more for legacy projects uh, when you define core uh, items, uh, core config, uh, it will be used to serialize items from core database, master from master database, and one config for master content. Uh, it's a for custom content, which sometimes needs to be synced with uh, environments. Uh, more modern approach is, of course, a Helix based. On the current slide, you can see example from Habitat Solution. Uh, in fact, there is a basic configuration for all layers and for each rail, uh, for each layer separately. Uh, when you, uh, it's a base for all layers and for each layer base config for each layer separate Helix Foundation, Helix Feature and Helix Project. They uh, all are inherited from Helix Base, it's a base config. This all base config configuration are uh, in a demo, uni uh, yeah, demo unicorn base under the Helix folder. Uh, so <clears throat> when you create your custom layer, you just uh, inherit it from appropriate configuration depending on layer type. So if you need, if you create some foundation project or feature or, pro or project, you just create a new configuration and inherit it uh, from foundation, from feature or project, depending on what type of layer uh, you created. Uh, basic. Basic layers, basic configuration contains uh, contain a general list of items to serialize. So if you need more to serialize, uh, depending on your feature, uh, uh, so just add them into a new custom configuration. Uh, if you sync, uh, if you sync custom content, then uh, <clears throat> that can be edited by customer. You should be careful uh, in order not to override uh, already existing content. Uh, with Unicorn, you can achieve this by using a new item only evaluator to create content once only uh, if it doesn't exist. So you that's where you deploy only new new items on the environment and will not override what custom uh, creates uh, ed edited. Um, OK, we are ready with the project. We installed Unicore. We set up custom configuration. So now uh, once uh, you deploy your project, uh, you should be able to open Unicore admin page. And here you can see each config as a separate group that can be synced independently. Uh, uh, you just check what you need to sync and click sync button. You can sync separately each uh, configuration or you can uh, check all, all of them and sync all of them. Um, if you would like to automate this process, Unicorn provides uh, appropriate tools for that too. Uh, Unicorn has an automated tool API where you, where, where you can um, invoke actions in the Unicorn control panel from a script. For example, invoking a sync after a code deployment. Uh, another option is a transparent sync. Uh, the items on disk uh, appear in a sidecore without syncing. Transparent sync looks uh, simpler, but as for me, uh, I would uh, prefer to control sync manually. So during deployment, I, I use Unicorn admin page to sync the content. Uh, who serialize the content? Uh, if you are uh, interested more in on how uh, serialization works in Unicorn and who does it indeed, you should see Unicorn data provider configuration. Uh, this class 
is responsible for serialization of sidecore content on disk. Uh, working with the Unicore, uh, you probably have to deal also with TDS. Uh, so is, um, is there any difference? Uh, in general, the major difference in approach is that Unicorn forces all the merging to be done on the disk. Uh, you, so you never have to manually select uh, uh, select uh, what to update when you are running a sync operation. Uh, and Unicorn is free and open source. Uh, Sidecore TDS is licensed per developer and is available as an annual subscription. Uh, both are great tools. I work with both uh, and during preparing this presentation, I was interested, is there any other alternative? Uh, yeah. And Yes, it is. It exists. One of the most exciting new features in the Sidecore 10 is the Sidecore content serialization. Um, this is a tool for serializing, sharing, version controlling, and deploying content items. Uh, basically, I still have to work with this tool, so I will just dwell on it in more detail in the, in the future meetups. Uh, uh, and now, at this stage, I will I can mark up that. Sidecore content serialization. It's a new progressive tool which can be uh, seen as a replacement for TDS and Unicorn, and it combines best of both. Um, Sidecore content serialization tool has a Visual, Studi Visual Studio plugin, uh, and it has Sidecore command line interface. Uh, Sidecore command line uh, interface can be used for serialization, creating item packages, and for publishing. More commands will be integrated. Uh, no, no license is required to use um, command line interface. Uh, you just install it and start using it. Uh, Visual Studio plugin uh, can push, can pull your changes, can show you differences between uh, items on the on the disk and items in the sidecore. Uh, it can sync items. Uh, the only requirement to use Visual Studio plugin uh, is that you have an appropriate sidecore TDS license. Um, on the left side on the slide, you can see how command line interface looks like. On the right side, you can see a sidecore module explorer, which you can see in a Visual Studio when you install uh, sidecore content serialization Visual Studio plugin. <clears throat> so, summarizing the above, uh, here is a short overview of existing ways how we can serialize the content. Uh, Unicorn seems to be a free power, powerful serialization tool, which you can still use with the Sidecore 10. Uh, during presentation, we looked at how to get started with it, how to configure it. Uh, see the options of uh, to automate the deployment. Uh, anyway, anyway, all of these tools do the job great. It's uh, your choice, uh, your, your decision what to choose. Um, all the source code now will be available on my GitHub account. Uh, I will share with you the link. Uh, so hope you like this short and quick presentation if you have more questions please write to me 
some useful links and link to my GitHub with the code examples. Um, so thank you. Probably any questions from your side? Okay, thank you very much.